what's up y'all here's what we got going on today we are going out to spray some of our trails live here in middle tennessee if you guys have watched our show over the years you know that we used to live in pennsylvania and now we live in middle tennessee south of nashville and we're going out here to spray some trails today because this time of the year it's june things are growing up like crazy out here and we're just trying to keep keep our uh, trails cleaned up oh damn we got a cow this is our camp area up here just had a storm come through and blow all those chairs down anyhow it's kind of a cool camp got a stage got some showers over there porta potty all right so i'm thinking this is my neighbor's cow what's up buddy huh all right well we'll deal with him later right now we're going to spray some trails and i think my wife Melissa and my son Brady have done a good bit of spray and you can see right there that trail has been sprayed now I'll show you the difference in a trail that has not been sprayed all right this trail here has not been sprayed somebody had it set up for the wand so we're gonna set it up for our boom sprayer now actually you know what might use the wand here turn that on this might got this thing all messed up over to the boom and we're gonna spray this a little bit all right here we go take it right down through here for those of you that are deer hunters this is an excellent spot right here get a lot of deer traffic through here we got a pond down here at the bottom good food source all around the property corn soybeans all that good stuff had a storm come through blew all of our chairs down here by the by the fire got a lot going on this weekend got some friends coming over gonna do some hanging out some chilling and grilling all right we got the chairs all set up so i'm shooting this video i've been getting a lot of requests from people saying hey man love your videos we want to see more and we do stuff every single day with side by sides uh even our atv we have a yamaha grizzly we do stuff every day with our units and uh I just thought I'd kind of bring you in behind the scenes a little bit and show you what we got going on on a daily basis, uh, whether it's here or over at our Fisher's Off-Road Rentals. We've got uh, 20 Can-Ams over there that we rent out. Uh, we have, I think, 17 here on property at our house right now that we're getting ready to send to auction. And uh, that's what's going on here today. But I'm going to answer some questions about my unit right here because I know I'm going to get questions. I always get questions every time I do a video hey what's this what's that you know what do you got going on okay so here's what we got going on this is a 2022 k&m defender limited and i got 23 plastic for it because when i ordered it uh the 23 was not out yet and then it came out with this tan and i just thought it was super badass and had to have it and uh I'm running the sedona trail saws on here I do have ridge saws, but I'm running the trail saws on here today. They're 30 inch. I do not have the two inch forward A arms on here. I do have them, I bought them. I just didn't put them on yet. So we got the 
40 gallon sprayer on the back here we have a boom and then we've got the handle that we can run either way so if you're cruising along there's enough hose here you can put it up to the cab and you can shoot out the driver's window or passenger window if you got someone riding with you shoot a fence line we use it on our parking lots our trails this thing is coming big time handy now this is a 40 gallon sprayer i would not use this on an atv we have a 25 gallon sprayer for our atvs um, because with liquid the machine's going to float and it's going to kind of get a little cattywampus on you and get off camber if you're on a crazy hill so you want to make sure that you don't use a 40 gallon sprayer on an atv i mean unless you were on absolutely flat ground and the atv can handle it which i wouldn't really recommend it but anyhow we're gonna go out here and hit the trails do some more spraying looks like our cow friend left we got a shooting range down there that trail that goes down to a shooting range our son brady he's in the army national guard and uh we've got a bunch of law enforcement friends that come over here and practice keep them keep them trained up you know for when the bad guys decide to do something stupid all right let's see if that cow's hanging out up here if he went back back over to my neighbors that cow comes up here in our top field here poops and then our dog rolls in it that ain't cool uh, it looks like looks like a cow made it back over there i see you made it back buddy Stay on your own side. What is that? Oh yeah. Yep, that's cow poop. My dog Nash will be up here rolling in that. All right, let's keep cruising on the Fisher 50. <laughs> I just came up with that. We've got 50 acres here, backs up to just on the other side of that fence right there, that tree line, there's 2,000 acres of Tennessee Wildlife Management Area. It backs up to like state forest, state game land type stuff. Um, let's see, down over, uh, down over this hill here, right down in uh, the bottom down there. Uh, you probably can't see it, it's a little too thick. So, right right down there you can't even see it but anyhow right down here just below this ridge right here i shot the biggest buck ever this past season he messed with me and messed with me until uh all of archery season i gotta stand right there you probably can't see it it's all black but this deer messed with me all archery season played games thought he was the MVP but he didn't realize it was the second day of rifle season the old aught six he tried running he tried making a break for the TWRA landing never made it <laughs> that was a beautiful deer excellent moment one I'll never forget and uh, got him into taxidermist right now so he'll be hanging on my wall sometime in the near future right, so this here is our range know if you can see it real well this is our range here our son Brady built this a little over 100 yards good shooting if you are uh, friends with me on my Facebook page you probably saw the gender reveal our daughter Brianna a lot of you have watched the show know who she is She's seen her grow up well now she's having a baby her and her husband bronson so their uh gender reveal was held right there and brady shot the the tannerite and we got pink smoke so we're having a a girl her name's gonna be blair i'm gonna shoot this one spot right here all this stuff here was already sprayed that 
that's the nice thing about this sprayer you got the boom back there you just go down through your trails and spray them up I know a lot of you use your ATVs and side-by-sides for work and different things on your property feel free to tell me how you use it love to hear from you let me know what you'd like to see we got a lot of stuff that we do every single day with our ATVs and side-by-sides so we can get you some good content just want to know what y'all want to see I'll tell you what there's nothing better than this right here being out in the middle of nowhere in Middle Tennessee on a Friday morning when probably 80% uh, I don't know probably less than that a lot of people don't want to work these days but a large percentage of people are at work and I'm just out here on my own property cruising around doing a little trail maintenance man I'm gonna tell you what you talk about a stress reliever this is it baby this is what we work for this is what we work hard for this is why we have our own property it's what it's all about you know there's just something about the off-road lifestyle that for man 25 plus years well it's going on 30 years that we have experienced and that we've done that have just it changes your life man and when you get out and you ride and you get out into the outdoors like this man it's just so relaxing and peaceful that's what it's all about this goes up in here I don't even know if this is a trail <laughs> we're doing a little exploring here today too don't even know that's right my wife Melissa put this trail in I don't know it's been probably a year or so now what we're gonna do and the reason why I was spraying our trails here this morning is because we've got some trees down here that have some bagworms and my wife bought some treatment so we can get rid of the bagworms because it's killing our trees and they're pretty big trees and we we just hate to see them die because of some bagworms so I'm gonna clean this out just rinse it out get it really good and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the bagworm treatment in here and we're going to spray these trees and see if we can't knock this out so having a sprayer comes in handy more ways than one when you're taking care of your property sometimes people say well how much do you like the defender limited well let me show you i like it one two three four five times I got five of them somewhere oh here's the boys getting ready to do some work what's up what's going on getting ready to do some power washing got a bunch of units got to clean up send them back to auction you saw that red trailer back there that is our food trailer we just bought that not too long ago we're gonna be putting it over at our shop over at our rentals because we're in the middle of nowhere and when people come back from riding they are hangry all right y'all here we go this is uh sprayer part two we've got some trees that the bag worms are just destroying miss melissa is frustrated she's furious <laughs> she has it out for the bag worms they started on that tree right there went to that tree now we're just trying to stop them from going to these other two trees we had a major frost here in middle tennessee over i don't know the beginning of the year sometime and the temperature just plummeted overnight by like 20 or 30 degrees it was really rare and it killed a lot of trees here in middle tennessee so we already had to pull a bunch of trees already and now we're hoping we don't have to get rid of these because we really like these uh, trees right here. I'm not like an arborist. I don't know Jack Diddley about trees 
but all I can tell you, all I can tell you is we're not happy about it and uh, we don't want to lose all of our trees, all of our shrubs and bushes and trees and whatnot. So there you go, y'all. We'll see you. Take care. Have a good one. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. Get it, boy. Don't mess the mulch up. Hey, easy on the mulch.